Hi, I'm Matt, and welcome to Tech Tested. When it comes to computer case fans, is bigger always better? Would he say yes? Stay tuned to find out more! Welcome to our first episode of Redneck Tech, where bigger is always better and finesse is for the rich. This is your standard 120 millimeter fan that's used in most computer cases, but we like to go big. This is an automotive radiator cooling fan, and we would like to find out if you can get more performance from a lot more airflow. We're gonna run this computer through some baseline stress tests, and then we're gonna put on that giant fan to see what kind of performance gains we can get. We just started our tests. We're running a graphical stress test and a processor stress test to find out our max temperatures. We're gonna run this for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna install our new radiator fan. We just finished our stress tests and our processor was running at 49 degrees Celsius, but our graphics card was running at 99 degrees Celsius. We're going to put on this big cooling fan and hopefully bring some relief to that graphics card. We're going to be taking the window out of this side panel and fortunately this case blends itself particularly well to this kind of project because of the side window and this fan just happens to fit very well in this space. So. We're just gonna get to it, start taking off the side window. It's just screwed in here. And I think, hopefully, there are holes where we can just zip tie this sucker in. You want to make sure the fan orientation is blowing the air into the case. So as you can see, the fan will spin this way and it will cup the air and push it this way, so we actually want it to be facing like this. We have holes here and here, which will zip tie into associated holes on the corners of the case. Okay, and then I'm actually going to add one more to each corner going from here to here, just for added stability. We're gonna use duct tape to fill in the gaps here so we can prevent lost airflow. And here's our final product. I probably don't need to remind you that this is Redneck Tech. We have a power cord and a ground cord for this particular fan and I made up this little contraption here. This is just a pair of Molex to VGA adapter cables that I bunched up so we could get enough power to the fan and All that really has to be done left is crimp these ends onto the fan All right now we have our connector that we can hook it up to a Molex. We may not have enough amperage from the given power supply in the computer So we may need to run an independent power supply to run this fan, but we'll find out in a minute. All right, moment of truth. Right. The computer is booting up now, and the best part is this is near silent performance. Just kidding. This is so loud that we can't even record audio anymore, but we're gonna start our stress test and let you guys know what happens. We just finished our stress tests and we actually saw a notable performance increase on our graphics card, going from 99 degrees Celsius to 95 degrees Celsius. Our processor ran a little bit hotter at 51 degrees Celsius, but that is still well within thermal limits. While four degrees Celsius may not seem like a big performance increase, keep in mind that that can be the difference between your graphics card thermal throttling and holding a steady clock speed across the board. Also keep in mind that Furmark is a very intense program for your graphics card and getting any sort of performance increase while that's running is a notable achievement. While I'm not sure why the CPU was running a few degrees hotter than it was in our previous test, I think it mostly has to do with the direction of the airflow. Instead of the air running across the CPU cooler, it's just billowing inside the case with this giant fan on the side. While it may be ugly and it may be loud, the compensator did actually bring notable performance gains to our computer. But seriously, this thing is really loud. You have to yell to have a conversation while this thing is running. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and feel free to leave a comment about any videos you'd like us to do in the future.